Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we're going to look at this last resort shoulder bag from the company Maxpedition. If you've been watching my channel, a couple of the brands that show up pretty frequently for my EDC, VanQuest and Maxpedition. Two brands who have very similar philosophies and make fantastic bags for everyday use. And that's exactly what we have here with The Last Resort. Now this Last Resort is brand new for the 2022 season. However, it is a bag that has been out in the past. If you take a look back at one of my prior reviews, I looked at a very similar bag to this. This Last Resort is not a brand new model, but has been re-released as part of the Legacy series for 2022. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through this in detail. I'm gonna show you how I use it and what this means for me this is a fantastic bag and if you like a shoulder bag i think this is going to be a great option for you but with that said i have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what i'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Maxpedition who did provide this for review. Now, again, this last resort, it can be considered a shoulder bag, an attache, whatever you choose. This is, for me, a fantastic everyday carry option. And the main reason being, I can work out of this bag very effectively. If you've been watching my channel, you've heard me say it time and time again, it's one thing to have a great bag. It's another thing to be able to work out of it effectively. And an EDC, to me, one of the biggest advantages you can get working out of this efficiently, working out of it effectively, and having something that's going to hold all of your gear exactly how you need it. And so that's one of the first things you're going to see as I put the bag down. It literally just sits down perfect. No problem, nice and square, sits on the tabletop with ease. And then when I get to my workplace or wherever I need to get to my contents, easily opening up a couple of these key compartments here and displaying my things with ease. That is the first thing about this particular bag. The layout is amazing. It's just perfect. It just lays everything out in front of me so I can work out of the bag. And so the first thing you'll see as we work through the details on the materials, the 1000 denier nylon. So a ballistic nylon. This is the case for much of the legacy series of Maxpedition products. This also has a triple polyurethane coating for some water resistance. That's a nice thing. Not a must, but definitely a help if you're a commuter or somebody who will be carrying this outside on a daily basis. That'll definitely come into play. All the threads that they use are high tensile strength composite nylon thread which is stronger than other potential threads that they could use so very nice and gives us added strength there is padding in strategic locations so this is considered to be a high grade closed cell foam padding which is helpful especially if you have devices in here like laptops or tablet devices you'll notice on the inside that all the seams are taped and they're finished off, so nicely done. All the edges finished, which is a good look. Maxpedition always doing a great job with the YKK zips. Very smooth, no problem. These are just wonderfully done. High quality UTX Duraflex hardware, so all the hardware being nice high quality polymers. And generally speaking, a nice choice in colors. So here, this one here, being in the wolf gray, as you look at the outside of the bag, everything presented very nice, very organized and easy to get through. Now, there is one significant fundamental difference, in my opinion, between what Maxpedition does and VanQuest. To me, VanQuest always gets a little bit of, I would say, style points for their fit and finish and their high-vis interior. Unfortunately, with Maxpedition, you do not get that. But at the same time, what I can tell you is there's actually a simple elegance with this bag. The fact that it is quite simple works out extremely well for my needs and is very effective for my needs with this last resort attache. What you're gonna notice as we go through this entire bag, each one of these compartments is standalone, 
but it also does not have additional internal compartmentalization. It's pretty much just the pocket that you see. So for example, as we open this up, very simple. You can see the nice quality nylon material. You can see the nice Velcro and everything done very well. But on the inside, it literally just is what it is. Just the pocket, there's nothing more, no additional subdivided nature to it. But I think that's a good thing. And in this case, you can see inside here, very simple. I just have a power bank and then a simple right in the rain notebook. So small little notepad for basic notes. But that's it, very simple. This is just open and easy. If you wanted to add your own pouch into this, it would be very simple. So you can choose, you can decide how you want to subdivide this. And I actually think that's a benefit. I like that. These two pockets here on top, very simple, very straightforward. So this one here has a little bit of a pull tab. This one does not. I would actually probably like to see that pull tab added to this. It's not needed, but I kind of like it. I think the reason why it's on the middle pouch is just to finish this off and give it a little bit of a centralized look down the middle of the bag, but it's definitely functional and I like it being on there. So personally, I would like to see this on both of these, but not a deal breaker. But again, on the inside, very simple. It just is what it is. Opening this up, I have some earbuds, so some nice earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds, just sitting there ready for use. And that's pretty much it, but I don't need much else in here. I really just want these to sit here ready to go. And when I need them, they're literally right there on top. So I think that's pretty awesome. In this side, just some little knickknacks. So I have a couple of commemorative coins that I've been carrying around, just little good luck charms and just a couple paper clips and a little key ring in case I need it. So very simple, but at the same time, just good and easy, simple little things that come into use for me. You can see the Velcro field across the front. Always nice to put a little bit of a, a morale touch on the front. I do like that. Nice and clean, very simple, and definitely cool. On the inside here, as I mentioned, very straightforward. Everything here is going to be simple. have a couple of spare masks because I need them. And then here... I have receipts. I go to the post office all the time. I just slam my receipts in there. I've been doing a ton of business lately with companies that I reached out to or met at SHOT Show. So I actually have been leveraging these cards here and getting to some correspondence. So these are kind of on my hot list right now of things to do. And just kind of keeping all this in here. It's all stuff that I am sort of currently dealing with. So having it in here, just a very simple dump pocket, no problem. And that nice flap over the front to keep everything tidy. So this works out very well. So overall, the front of the bag just laid out very nicely. I do very much like that. Now the side water bottle pockets are awesome. They're a little bit larger. They're definitely ample. They're very easy to get your water bottles or canteens into. I actually have been using these for very simple things, but let's just say for example, I'm heading into the office and well, I usually carry my coffee cause it's full, but by the end of the day, it's empty. I can just take my cup here, easily slide it inside fits down perfect and then I can actually strap it down and into place and that works out very well. It's not going anywhere, fits in here good and secure. The little drops aren't going to spill anywhere. This has worked out awesome. So I love these pockets. You have one on this side and one on this side of equal size. So these water bottle pockets have worked out just about perfectly for me. Now here's where this bag really starts to shine. You end up with three large pockets, and as you look at this in overall depth, this is not very deep. But what I can tell you is, this is chock full of like really important stuff to me. So as you look here, this very simple, just a Velcro enclosure, no problem pulling that open, the inside of this Velcro lined. So again, 
no subdivision comes with this to begin with, but I'm able to take my own pouches and pockets and line the inside of this. So I always have a bunch of tools. If you've watched my EDC setups in the past, this is all the same stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with it. I've gone through it time and time and time again. So if you're interested in seeing what my actual like EDC setup looks like, quite honestly, you can pretty much catch any other bag review that I've done most of the time I have the same stuff in here but you can see leveraging these pouches sticking it to the velcro having some tools having some basic necessities all my little supplies very easy but this seals which means nothing can fall out of it and it also sits down very flat and very flush which I like and the other thing, if you watch my EDC bag uh, videos, you'll know I talk about competition of space. This bag does not suffer at all from competition of space. And when I mean competition of space, what I'm saying is gear that you put in one pocket, shoving into another pocket and limiting its ability. This pocket here, is standalone on the outside of this pocket. So whatever you put in this main compartment does not impact or interfere with what you put in here. So a great layout and very little competition of space. That's a good thing. Now moving through here, this is some more of the magic. So you can see here, I just have this nice amount of tools laid out. So again, basic necessities, have a nice fixed blade in here. If I need it, fits down and inside perfectly. Some basic necessities like Leatherman, little torch, some screwdrivers and different basics here. I have my pay stubs, so I always need a place to slide my pay stubs. Those go down perfectly inside this sleeve. Another larger field book, so again, a right in the rain field book for more comprehensive notes. And then my work computer, which sits down nice and inside. Now, this is all capable because of this inner sleeve. This is actually removable with Velcro. And so as I pull this out, you can see this is the only internal compartment that has subdivided ability. So here you can see on this side, just some simple pockets. And again, this is like where I had my right in the rain notebook. And then this is where I had my pay stubs. So those just slide in perfectly on this side. This is my little tool layout, so all my basic tools. That is awesome. And then on the inside here, just wide open. Again, I can set this up the way I need. And just a little Velcro strip on the bottom. The only thing that would have made this better is to Velcro line both sides of the bag. That is, again, something that VanQuest does very well. Not so much here necessarily on the Maxpedition, but again, at the same time, it really does not impact this bag's functionality. I think this is fantastic. I love the layout and it's just really nice. And on the inside, you can feel that padding. So that closed cell padding here, very well done to help protect my devices. Now again, minimal competition of space as I go to this back pocket. You can see here, as I open this up, I do have my actual notebook. This is all my uh, channel notes and some of the important business things that I'm dealing with. Here you can see I actually have a full size 12 inch iPad, which I just added to my kit. And then here, some of the uh, paperwork that came with it. Now this does have a little bit of some subdivided capability here. So you see a couple more slip pockets and then this one here. This for me was where I slid this iPad. Now I do intend on getting a ruggedized case for this iPad. I think at that point, it's not really gonna fit in here, which is a little bit of a shame, but at the same time, I should be able to drop it in here and it's gonna fit just fine. So as long as I'm careful, both the iPad and my tablet PC fitting in here very well, no problem, nice and padded, 
just effective. But now that we're on the back of the bag, you can see this panel here, pretty straightforward and plain on the back, with the one exception being that Velcro morale field and the Maxpedition logo. And so last but not least, to wrap this up, a few additional features. You can see here a nice grab handle. All of the webbing seems to be now converted to more of that like seat belt material, which is nice. It's soft, it's pliable. And this being very effective, the strap has been very comfortable. I do like it. it, has this pad on top, and you can see this gets just a little bit twisted up, but not too bad. You end up with some nice buckle swivels on the end. I do like this design. This actually is about perfect where this just kind of pivots and swivels and just works out very well. So I think the hardware choice and then like the strap choice and then of course all the materials and everything that's gone into this very nicely done. So for the people at Maxpedition, this last resort for me, I love it. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Maxpedition for providing this for review. This bag, again, very, very nice. I do greatly enjoy it. It was awesome to bump into Tim Tang at SHOT Show 2022 and really get to talk to him a little bit about his upcoming products, this last resort, where it fits in his lineup, some of the mentality, and really at this point, I can say that after running this and also another bag that I can greatly appreciate and say I recommend, if you go to the Prepared Citizen Deluxe video, very similar. That's a backpack, but at the same time, some of the sort of simple elegance and ease of carry that you get with this last resort. So over the past few years, I can say Maxpedition's really been holding, I'd say, a solid place in the market. Good overall design, good clean layout, good functional bags, awesome construction, and products that I can definitely recommend. And so if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, I have a ton of videos and the channel is growing quickly. So if you like Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check out Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.